So as I previously mentioned in my last video when I explained to you guys why I was MIA and wanted to give you updates on some videos that you can be expecting from me, from all this, from all this, uh, <laughs> from all this uh, handsome. Um, I, uh, I told you guys in the last video that if my last video got one like, I would explain my excommunication story. It's actually the same day, so I don't know if that video got one like, but I'm, a, I, you know, I'm a betting man. I'm a gambling man, okay? So I'm gonna guess that somebody liked it. Also, before I jump into that, I wanna let you guys know that if, if I breathe heavy, it's because it is so hot up here. It is so hot up here. Um, I have an AC like right in that direction, um, but I can't like turn it on. Uh, the reason for that is because, uh, you know, I have a, I have one outlet and like reaching distance. Um, I have one monitor and I have my PC. Um, and yeah, I could get an extension cord. Um, but yeah, um, I can't. Oh, it's hot up here. So I'm going to try to edit this very well. I'm going to try to cut it into segments. Okay. Because like, I, it's a hot topic, guys. Excommunication, right? My fiance used to be Catholic, right? And she hasn't been excommunicated. So why did me... Of all people, get excommunicated from a church that, that I grew up in. It all began June 6th at around, I would say, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My wife, I almost said fiancé, but I said my wife. My wife and I was doing some yoga because when we got back from honeymoon, we ate like trash, um, and it was some of the best food I've ever had in my life. And, uh, you know, we like to do dance workouts and stuff, and we like to do yoga. We do yoga with Adrienne, so look her up on YouTube. I'll leave a link to her in the description down below. And we also like to do dance workouts to a recently found YouTuber, Kyra Pro. I will also leave her channel in the uh, comments, or comments, the description box down below, so go check both of them out if you all wanna do some cool yoga or some cool ass dances, right? My fiance and I are in the middle of a nice, chill, 20-minute yoga with Adrian, and I get a call, and the call came through uh, from a Pennsylvania area code, and the call was coming from my hometown. So I'm like, okay. So my mind is immediately is like, oh, it's probably spam, but it looked like a, like a legitimate number in the area that I used to live in. So I'm like, well, Let's pause this yoga. I'm like really into the yoga at this point, by the way. But I'm like, let's pause the yoga, right? So before I preface the, preface the next section, I can never say that word right, preface. Before I preface and go into this next part, I am a very kind person, right? I, I, I think I'm, I'm very chill. I don't let a lot of things bother me. Um, and the call was, from one of my family members. I'm not really sure what the relation is, um, but just know there is no ill feelings towards this person by any means. A lot of, you know, a lot of uh, unpleasant and uh, unideal things has, has happened to me with my family. Uh, for those of you who know me well, I'm sure you can kind of piece those together what those might be. I don't have any ill feelings towards this person whatsoever. So the call that I receive is from my, my old pastor. I, I think he still is like the main pastor of this church. The church itself is called the House of Jacob, right? And, I, and this is not a diss on religion by any means, right? I'm, you know, I used to be, I used to, f I used to believe a lot in religion. But as I got older, I'm not as, I'm not as religious. I, I wouldn't say I'm fully, like, I'm not atheist or anything. I, I think I am agnostic, which, if I have that definition right, I believe in something. I just don't know if it's necessarily a god. Um, but just, you know, just prefacing that, I don't want to step on anybody's toes. But I got a call from my old pastor. Well, first he said his name, because I was like, who, who is this? But I recognized the, the voice almost immediately. Um, and I'm not gonna bring up any names. Um, and he's like, you know, how you been? I was like, oh, we're good. And he's like, I see you got married, right? Um, and the the reason how I think he found that out is like my mom is friends with 
his wife and i think i think it's her aunt i think so i'm not sure what that relation to me would be um so i'm like oh well that explains probably uh how he knew how he knew through through his wife i'm not sure how he got my number though i know i mentioned that last video i re i am really dragging out this story i don't mean to i just uh th this is how i am so i hope you guys understand he's like you know how was how was the wedding how was everything i told him he, he's a very nice level-headed down-to-earth guy i i have no issue with him or his wife by any means i grew up in the house of jacob for oh god i probably started going when i was like i'd say four or five and then like so, like in 2002 i guess i should preface this as well in like 2002 my mom and dad got divorced and they they both got married at, in this church. Oh, thank God! There's so many details. So I I I hadn't gone. I haven't been to this church since like 2011. So I'd say I I've been going for like like 11, 12 years, right? And they they got to a point where I felt like I was being forced to go. Um, and I was just like it's almost like doing videos. Like I don't want to feel like I'm forced to do it. I don't want it to feel like a chore. And going to church felt like a chore. Anyhow, he's like, you know, if I could have a few moments of your time, I'm like, yeah, absolutely. And he's like, so I'm not sure if you're aware of the rules of the church. He, he's like, you know, I know you haven't been to the church in a while. And also this church is a non-denominational church. So if you guys don't know a lot about that i i feel like with any church there there are rules right there's rules associated to the church and, and, and rules that you need to practice by and follow by and i have mentioned before that i do genuinely think like a lot of church organizations are kind of cults very culty and unfortunately this is how i feel about the house of jacob right um, everybody's super kind, so I don't think it's necessarily the people, I think it's the practices, if that makes sense. So, for example, some of the rules is that the ladies, right, uh, the ladies are only allowed to wear skirts. Uh, well, actually, I think you have to wear long skirts. Yeah, okay. And then, like, I don't know if these practices are the same, but, like, guys, you know, shouldn't like be attending like movies or like or like uh you know sporting events and some and things of that regard um but the big thing and the reason why he called you know you got married outside of the church so like you marry within the church it's all good it's all fine you marry outside of the church and that is grounds for excommunication i could tell it was a phone call he didn't want to make because again he's technically related to me and like it didn't phase me but it was it was it was a call that i was not expecting so because i got married outside of the church to my harlot wife my scarlet letter wife how dare she separate me from god Just... but he's like you know can i get your address because i need to fill out a case i'm like what what do you I, like, I didn't say this on the phone because I'm very chill. I, I was like, yeah, here's my address. You know, that's fine. I understand. These are the rules. But after the phone call, I'm just like, I, w I looked at Tara and I told her what the phone call was about. I was like, yeah, you know, my old pastor called me and told me I was excommunicated. You know, it's whatever. And she's just like, she, she, she has a tendency of giving me this look when she doesn't believe me. I'm just like, no, this, this phone call, this phone call, <laughs> like, I, I, I wasn't expecting that. Like, I haven't been there in, like, close to 10, 11 years, and I was not expecting that. So I'm like, interesting. So because I married the love of my life, that was grounds for excommunication. And again, I wasn't phased by it because I haven't been going. Like, it, I'm not good with my words. I've mentioned this before. I can't wrap my mind around church like church being higher than one's personal happiness like i i don't get it like i know like a lot of religions are crazy um and i think this is one of the examples where i find it culty like because it's just like you gotta keep everything 
within the church. It's almost like Scientology in a sense, because like my fiance and I, along what felt like forever ago, watched the Scientology documentary with Leah Remini. And um, it was really interesting looking looking into that because I, I didn't know much about Scientology before. But like, it's two different religions, but it's it's wild. It's insane to me. So again, I was not offended that I was excommunicated, but I'm just like, that's really sad. And again, it's it's nothing against the phone call of the pastor because he's the, you know, he's the pastor. So like, obviously, he's going to follow by the rules, by the book. And God, there's so much more with the house of Jacob that is just like wild to me. Every, every house of Jacob looked up to this guy that we refer to as the father. And the father... Uh, basically, I I don't I didn't understand the whole deal. Like like there was four fathers. So there's Father J Daniel Israel J O G P O I S O T and so J I S S O T J O G and P O I. So P O I Pope of Israel S O T Son of Thunder J I S Jehovah is seen and J O G which is uh, judge of God. So J-O-G, J Father J. Daniel Israel, J-O-G, that is the main guy in charge now. So I think it was founded by the, by the first one, which I think was S-O-T, Son of Thunder, Thor, Ragnarok. So he started it, I think he started it. Anyhow, it just kind of grew from there. And this guy that we refer to as the father is basically like, Every year, I think it's every year or every four years, so it's almost like an election. Every year or four years, I can't remember which, which one, we would all go out to Ohio. And every district, every like community of House of Jacob churches would go to Ohio. And it, they, we would all be in this gigant, this ginormous church. Like, it... It's insanely big, insanely big. And as soon as the father walks through the, through the doors and goes up to like the, uh, oh, the, the, the pews, the pews, the, the, the stand that, God, it was, it was it's, it's so strange thinking of it now. And so he would go up to like the podium where he would speak or go up to his special chair. And as soon as he walked through the door, everybody, everybody stood up on their feet and was just, like, it, it was like the president walked through the door. And it, it, it like, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm not, part of me feels like I'm not qualified to discuss everything that the church does because I'm not that knowledgeable on it. All I know is that I went for a long time when I was younger and there was a lot that I didn't understand. There's a lot that I still don't understand. But the point is of this video that I am excommunicated, so I am a free agent, baby. But yeah, it was a it was a very strange phone call. It was one that I was not expecting, and uh, it was it was very I don't know. It was just one of those things where it's just like personal happiness doesn't matter, baby. You marry outside the church, the church, the ch <laughs> you marry outside the big chungus church, and you're gone, baby. And he's like, hey, you know. If you and your wife ever want to come back, you know, just know you, you got to go through a process, you know, and then, and then, you know, you can become a member again. And to that, I say, so long, farewell. I, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't want it. I'm very happy with my life. And again, this is not a personal attack on the church by any means. It's not a personal attack on, on the, on my pastor who gave me a phone call. It's just, I don't know. I felt like, it was, it was just very strange. It was very strange. And again, no ill feelings whatsoever. But at the same time, cult? Question mark? Yeah, so I hope that shed some light. You guys are welcome to look up the House of Jacob. If I find any links that I think you guys would enjoy reading because it was a huge, 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 huge part of my childhood. Um, so if I find anything that might be interesting or might shed some more knowledge that I may not have shared with you guys, 
I will leave that as well in the description box down below. Um, but but yeah, you know, if, if if you're a person who is very religious or is watching this and goes to the house of Jacob, again, it's nothing against you. Uh, this is all solely my personal experience. And if there's something that I did say wrong, I sincerely apologize about it. Again, this is from my perspective going and feeling like I was forced to go and just going through all the rules and the, and the, the just, I don't know, looking at it now as an adult, it's very strange. But this is it's my perspective. It's not yours. So, I don't know. Whoever watches this, I love you all so much. I hope you enjoyed. I'm not doing this for views. I want to do this because I felt that it was important. It is a major part of who I used to be. So again, I love you all so much. I hope you have enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos on more childhood topics. I don't know. Whoa, the screen just got super bright. So, God, listen, nothing against you, big guy. But, uh, but yeah, I love you all so much. Thanks for sticking with me.